Hi everyone, in this problem we have an infinite series and we're being asked to determine if it converges or diverges and if it converges we want to find the sum. So this appears to be a geometric series because it has the following form. It has uh, a number a times r to the n. Here a would be 1. So anytime you have a number to a power uh, it's, it's geometric. So our number, which is r, uh, is equal to the cosine of 1. This is called the common ratio. All right, so now we can use something called the geometric series test. So I'll abbreviate it uh, by GST. And the geometric series test says if the absolute value of r is less than 1, then we have convergence of our infinite series, so it converges. If the absolute value of r is greater than or equal to 1, then we have uh, divergence, so our series uh, diverges. So we need to figure out what r is. So if I type it into my calculator, I get r is approximately 0.54. So uh, in this case, it's going to be uh, less than 1. Also, you know, you can think of it um, you know, graphically. Let's see, let's think about the graph of cosine, right? Cosine of 0 is 1, and then cosine of pi over 2 is uh, 0. It looks like that. So, uh, you know, the value of cosine of 1 is going to be less than 1, right? Because pi over 2 is about 1.57, roughly. So cosine of 1 is somewhere over here. So it's going to be less than 1, so no issues there. So if we take the absolute value of r, we're taking the absolute value of cosine of 1, which is just cosine of 1, it's a positive number, and it's less than 1. So our series converges by the geometric series test, so GST. So that answers the convergence question. Um, so because it converges, now we can find the sum. So to find the sum, it's actually very easy. All you do is you take this number here and you plug it into your k. So we'll get cosine of 1 to the first power, always. And that goes up top, always. So you always just take that, plug it in, and it goes up top. And on the bottom, it's just 1 minus r, so 1 minus cosine 1. We can rewrite our answer in a prettier way, just cosine of 1 over 1 minus cosine of 1. That would be the sum of this infinite series. I hope this video has been helpful to you in some way. Good luck.